What's up, guys? Good boy. Can I have some love? Thank you. That is Timon. That is Twink Monster. It's my two babies. Well, today, it's not a dog day. Get out of here. Move. Scoot. Today, we're going to be doing one of my favorite things to do. Construct a monitor cage. I have an empty, not really empty cage. I built this cage a few weeks ago. Um, but now, I'm going to decorate it. I got these trees, these tree trunks that fell. I had a tree fall on the back of my house back there. So I hate the fact of cutting trees because they take so long to grow. They're alive creatures. They're so beautiful. But when a tree falls down, of course, I could take it, harvest it, and put it to good use. Today, we're going to introduce some water monitors to this cage. We got two Guru water monitors at 1.1. Um, I've had all types of monitor species. I've got black dragons. I've got lace monitors. I've got quince monitors. You know, all types of varanus species are like my favorite. But in particular, water monitors, like, so we got enough wood over here. I'm gonna grab my drill. So what I'm gonna do, guys walk in here with me. I'm gonna build a shelving system that goes from here to here, to here all the way around. This shelf will come from here and work its way up so that they can go up there. It should be a pretty fun project. Uh, First of all, before I really get started, I have to always practice safety for You gotta have to wear some eyeglasses. The last thing you wanna do is work on a project and be out for months because you just fucked yourself up. I lost a finger, or even worse, you lost an eye. You don't wanna lose an eye. Don't lose your eyes. But in doing that, people always say, oh, glasses ain't cool. I know, I wanna look dope. Let me tell you something. The drip never takes a back seat. Welcome to my drip layer. We're gonna leave these goggles right there. Okay, we got a hot blue gun. We're gonna wild style, wild one to prove these glasses. Oh no. I'm just gonna take our feather and stick that on there like that. Let it sit for like 20 seconds. It's too lit. It's too legit to quit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think. We are. Hot toshi no koto How fast was that going? Uh, I, I think I clocked a 238. We could beat that though. Yeah, 250 next time. I'm changing my drill bit head. I like these drill bits better when I'm not trying to bury screws in the wood. Like John Wick of the Walt drills. Freeze. You freeze, bitch. Oh shit. Now back up, put the gun down, and give me a pack of tropical fruit bubblicious. We are at 105 inches. Actually, it's 108. Well, take your 108. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna measure this. Alright, 108. Nine foot on the dot. I usually eyeball it. I really don't care about protection. Take this nine foot piece. We're building these shelves for them to come back. Now the reason I do shelves for monitor lizards, I like to come up and meet the lizard at eye level. I never want to come to a lizard when he's down below because he feels like he's less or he feels threatened by a tall object. So for here, I'm going to be cutting these pieces off. Go kids. I'll come play with you later, kid. I love you. You okay back there? Alright. Alright, you cool cats and kittens. Uh, follow me over here, and I'm gonna be taking this wood and we're gonna start building non-stop an entire wood fortress all the way up to the top. Now, first off, we'll start here. This big ass log. I always want to get like a good base somewhere. We can start branching off though. Now a piece like this goes a long way to me because you can take this piece, stick it somewhere, and it has somewhere to come up there and bask on. It's never a perfect science to any of this stuff as far as building for me. I mean, like, I'm bouncing on one foot on a log 
barefoot trying to get these things stay up there. It doesn't even belong there. I'm just, I'm winging it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm working with what I got, using my brain, being, cre being creative. But once you get like a good solid base, like I said, you know, you can just keep building off of it. From there, I'll take another log. Thinking Minaj over here. Stick that over there. I'll stick this bad boy right here for right now. But now that the log is up there, it gives him another way to climb. So I got a couple more pieces of logs here if you guys can see. I'm um, going to take one more look at it so you guys can see how empty it is. And when it's done, it's going to be full of branches. And then we're going to introduce our lizards. So, so now we're back. Now walk with me inside of here, guys. I have a stepping ramp to go inside of here so I can climb up and go into the water bowl. Also, got these big massive logs that I screwed in. Now, like I said, we got shelvings going all the way around. We got a little ramp over here. And we walk up, go up there and bask. Now, lizards like to slide. I have my last water monitor, Yoshi. He would come up here and he'd slide down and go into his, uh, on the ground. But now I got a little swimming pool down there for them. Now, there's the fun part. Let's go get them, put them in. Thirsty. Now, here you have your Guru water monitor. Now, look at that lizard, man. Super beautiful. Now, why is it called the Guru? Look at the gigantic oscillation on it. He's scratching me up. We're gonna put him on the ground over here. I'm doing And here's your Guru water monitor. Me and Shuggy always have good relationship with our lizard friends. So we're gonna move her over here into her cage. What do you think, girl? It's all yours, you wanna go up there? These guys are lizards, they have sharp lizard claws. If you look at this thing's feet, I mean, look at those raptor talons right there. Built for climbing trees, built for digging through stuff, built for grabbing an animal and just ripping it to shreds like fish and stuff like that. Goes right to the scales, you know? Um, just as they have the crazy strong front feet, he had the, straight, the strong back feet too. Look at him, just go down the side of that tree like it's nothing. That's their new environment, so she's gonna be walking around being real curious, like, oh, this is my new cage, my new home. She's got this whole thing to scope out and run around and do whatever she wants to do. Now, this guy isn't the nicest. Dump some of this water out. And we'll bring him over there like this. So if you guys wanna come check him out, Got your male water monitor. I mean, look at that tail over there, man. Sick. I got your girlfriend right here, kiddo. Don't worry. You guys want to check them out? Rocket. It's chilling. They clamp right up that side of that tree, you know? They'll go up there. I've got to watch these guys to make sure. They're gonna be compatible to me. Hey, 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 no, none of that. No, no, no biting. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. So this is where, again, this is me being live with you guys. Live, I cut it out. Nope, no fighting. Now, introducing these animals, don't you bite me, damn it. Introducing these animals is not easy. I don't want them biting me either. You stay there. Leave him alone. Now, watch this guy. He's, he's new to his enclosure, so he's just find a, trying to find a way to figure out what this thing is. But again, he's not gonna be comfortable. He just got in, he's new to his surroundings. His girlfriend does not want him in here, so um, I gotta keep an eye on him because again, introducing animals together never gonna be easy, especially when it comes to lizards. I um, mean, you, know, you see how the girl, was, she came in, she was a little bit more chiller. This guy came in and ran up the wall and she chased him. She bit his foot. Now that could also mean, hey, I want to mate. Hey, to the beginning of springtime, a lot of lizards are breeding and doing the do right now. But um, I don't feel comfortable leaving these guys here overnight. So um, I'm gonna keep an eye on them for the next 20, 30 minutes. Um, I'm probably gonna take the mail out 
Uh, I have another cage I can put them inside of um, for now. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. This is part of my life. This is part of the goose and lizards. You know, if you guys go on and see uh, lizards in the wild, they come up on each other, they bob their head, they get all crazy, their tongues come out, and they start biting each other. But that's also a mating sign as well too. Now, these guys are precious animals. I don't want them to go here and beat each other up. They got scars and rips and ripples. I just got freaking soaked. Okay, yeah, so my dogs, when they get thirsty, they just go to chew water hoses, thinking water's gonna disperse, so. I cut the hose on and there's a giant hole in the middle of it. It's like spraying me all over the place. But um, yeah, man, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Was that modern lizard fight cool or what? I mean, think about it. When two animals come to meet and mate, it happens all the time. Males and females get into it. Males and males get into it. Females and females get into it. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a part of the show. Stay tuned because our next water monitor episode, we'll come back and check on these guys. We're gonna feed them. We're gonna see how the male's doing, how the female's doing. They might be hanging out together, bonding. Look at this one over here walking already. Chilling. Like, oh yeah, this is my domain. Big mama's chilling. See? Belly's dragging on the ground. She's getting used to her surroundings. That's, That's what lizards do. Yeah.